Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Warzone In Depth. Today's episode is a guide that's designed to help you find the best optical attachments for your weapons in Call of Duty Warzone. I do admit that there is some subjectivity to this because some people like the looks of some sights versus others, but we're mostly going to focus on aim down sights time, recoil changes, and overall utility because unlike regular multiplayer, being able to zoom in and see people at range and get hits on people at range is extremely, extremely valuable in Warzone, especially if you you want to challenge say a sniper with an assault rifle and today we're going to focus really hard on the assault rifles and much less so on snipers the sniper optics are very straightforward but the assault rifle ones are in my opinion more interesting what we did first is load up the m4a1 because that is the most popular weapon in modern warfare almost all of you are running it in multiplayer or in your drop kits and the optical attachments scale about the same from weapon to weapon with very little variation so testing one will give you an idea of how the sights are going to perform across all weapon classes Glasses. And we ran a bunch of ADS tests. And these are the results we got. And we're going to be doing this in frames instead of in milliseconds because it's a little bit easier to compare with. The M4A1 will aim down sights in 15 frames. That's going to be 250 milliseconds if you really want to know. And that's the same with iron sights or red dot sights. Red dots don't really penalize you whatsoever. Of the more basic long range zoom sights, the Scout is one frame slower, Cronin 17 frames, and oddly the VLK only 15 frames. And I put a little asterisk on that to really draw attention to the fact that this is a longer range zoom sight that does not have an aim down sights time penalty. All of the hybrid sights have the exact same amount of aim down sights time at 17 frames, so they're very comparable to the other long range zoom sights. And this is for any zoom. Some people were telling me you could ADS faster if you put it in like red dot mode and just ADS on the red dot, but that's not true. Whatever setting you've got it on, it's still going to aim down sights in the same amount of time. And finally, the thermal optics were a little bit slower at 18 frames, and if you're running the thermal hybrid at 19 frames, being the slowest that we measured today, which is almost a 30% uh, gain over the base aim down sights time. So it's kind of slow and you will definitely notice it. A few interesting observations before we move into specific sights is that the longer range zoom sights don't punish you very much. I expected them to be much slower, but they're not. The VLK site has a shockingly fast aim down sights time for a long range zoom site, and hybrids only have a minimal penalty, making them well worth using. What you use, however, will ultimately depend on your play style and what your other weapon is. A very aggressive player that's chasing kills will probably probably only want to invest in red dot sights since they're the snappiest and easiest to use, but a more passive player might want a thermal or thermal hybrid or even just a regular hybrid so they have varying levels of zoom. And we're going to take a look at each individual optical attachment today and what play style it can complement and help. And it, it gets more interesting as it goes. We're going to do red dot sights first, but the longer range zoom sights, very interesting. Red dot sights. There are a bunch of red dot sights, a whole huge variety, and none of them seem to impact your aim down sights time at at all. They all have the same ADS speed as iron. So what you ultimately want to pick here is whichever one you think looks best or is the clearest. I personally prefer the Solo Zero red dot sights, GI Mini red dot sights, and I have a soft spot for the monocle sights. I believe all of those have very clear small sights with easy to see dots that don't have a lot of clutter and visual noise so that I have full access to my peripheral vision. I prefer those two because they have the clearest dot pictures and because they don't have a lot going on around the sides of the sights, so I have the least amount of space blocked and I can maximize my peripheral vision. I think that red dot sights are best for your SMGs, and I, I do run them on SMGs instead of irons because I think it's super important to hit your shots in Battle Royale. Or maybe like a rushing close range assault rifle class like a Grawl, an M4, Ram 7, something like that. And red dot sights are going to be for your aggressive players. Most people will have a red dot sights rifle to complement their sniper rifle. They'll have like an AX50 or an HDR, and then they'll have their plain Jane red dot sight M4A1 as their backup weapon. If you have a sniper, you probably don't need a thermal or a hybrid on your rifle. It's just kind of unnecessary. So if you're playing the sniper game, just get your sniper and get a regular old red dot sight rifle. And I think that will do the best work for you. The only downside is that it does lack zoom. So if somebody gets in this very niche little medium range sweet spot with a better sight, they might be able to punish you, but at that range you should still be able to snipe them. Moving along, let's talk about VLK optics. VLK optics are a top tier choice in my opinion. They're not the absolute best, we're saving that for last, but they are very good. The aim down sights time is the same, or at least almost the same as close as I can measure, to being the same as a regular red dot sight or iron sights, which is shocking, and this is unique among the longer range zoom sight classes. 
I like that it isn't too big on the weapon. It doesn't take up too much space. It's not too bulky. I also enjoy the very small red dot in the middle and the helpful little mill dots on the vertical bar to help me line up and calculate drop for long range shots. I will admit that it's a little bit bulky around the sides when you aim down sights and it takes a moment to settle. It's kind of funny as you're pulling it up compared to the other optics. But what makes this one great is that the clarity of the sights is there and you, do, you ADS really fast with it, so it's totally close quarters combat capable. If somebody rushes you and you have VLK optics on, you can snap aim them, and the picture is gonna be clear enough where you can still hit them at close quarters. Obviously, red dot would be better, but it still works. It's not the best, you know, but it will work, whereas several of these other type of long range optics like the Cronin or Scout just would not. And I'd encourage more of you to try out the VLK site. For me, I mostly run this on the FAL and on my Growl classes. It's especially strong on the FAL because it gives me enough zoom to pepper snipers, but isn't so zoomed in that I can't use it up close. My third suggestion today is the Oddball. This is the Solo Zero NVG Optics. I know that you're thinking I'm crazy, but they're really not that bad. If you remember from a previous episode of In-Depth, this attachment will also slightly reduce your recoil, so it's almost like a two-for-one. You get optics and a bit of recoil reduction. Aim down sights time is 17 frames on this one. I forgot to measure it in the initial testing, so I kind of put it here in the back of the episode. So not too slow, pretty normal for a long-range zoom sight, and it does highlight enemies in orange, so you can use it kind of like a thermal to scan in the distance and just shoot at anything that is orange. It'll aim down sights a little bit faster and is a little bit less visually bulky compared to the thermal sights. And unlike the thermal sights, very importantly, glass doesn't cause this weapon to glitch out. You can actually see out of the glass. We'll talk about thermal sights and glass in a little bit, but it's nice to be able to see outside without having to break windows. There are several downsides, and the real only downsides is that the picture you get is very ugly. And it isn't the easiest to use, especially on a full auto weapon, because your shots create a lot of smoke and visual noise around the gun. Even if somebody isn't running cold-blooded and you can see them like Predator Vision in orange, you can lose track of them because of all the uh, clutter on your optics. This is a very acquired taste. I don't think that many of you are going to go for this, but I do want to let you know that they are entirely serviceable as optics and that they do reduce recoil and that there are a couple of guns in my opinion the kilo 141 they go really really well on moving along let's talk about thermal optics these have the slowest aim down sights time of anything that we'll talk about today and i personally think that these are best left on sniper rifles or dmrs maybe lmg since an lmg thermal is effectively a dmr as well that makes sense Thermal is best for scouting out enemies at long ranges who are difficult to see. The draw distance in this game is hardly perfect. It is, isn't perfect in any battle royale. And the thermal doesn't seem to have any limit on range. So you can get on top of a structure and scan in all directions. And if there is a person alive, they will glow white and they will be incredibly easy to see, which is just to your tactical advantage. Speaking of tactical advantage, they're great for punishing people who use smoke grenades a lot. Or if you use smoke grenades, you can throw them down and use them very, very effectively. But they have several critical downsides. Sides. They have a very slow aim down sights time, the slowest that we measure today, and you'll notice it, which I find frustrating. I find the size and shape of the optics, uh, both sitting on the gun and aiming down sights, to be a little bit bulky, and the picture quality is not ideal for up close. When people get in your face with this, it's definitely a struggle, and it's a huge struggle if they're running cold blooded. Cold blooded, it doesn't make you invisible per se, but it makes your character not stand out very much, and I find it very difficult to fight people up close with cold blooded, whereas it's much easier easier at long range. I'd much rather just have a red dot sight for up close combat. Thankfully, we do have thermal hybrid, which is a godsend in its own right, because the regular thermal sights can't see through glass. If you're camping a building or tactically waiting, as many of you do in my games, you will not be able to see out of most panes of glass. Sometimes you'll be able to see out of a piece of glass, but most of the time you can't. So your choice will either be to look out an exposed window or to break all the glass and make a bunch of noise. I try to avoid that because I just don't like making a bunch of noise breaking glass. And if I keep the glass up, then other people that are using thermal probably can't see me through it. Thermal Hybrid does have an even slower aim down sights time, but in my opinion, it's worth it to be able to quickly swap back to the red dot sight and acquire any target that's gotten too close to you. Personally, I would only run this on LMGs or maybe DMRs of some kind. I, I mostly use them on LMGs and it's mostly for very conservative play styles. And I'll just swap over to the red dot sight uh, on the hybrid thermal when the enemies get too close. And finally today, let's talk about this type of optics that I think is actually the best for Warzone, which is hybrid optics. These are criminally underused in regular multiplayer, but they're getting a lot of popularity here in Battle Royale. 
because they just offer you a ton of utility with very little penalty. All hybrid optics have the same aim down sights time, so choosing one won't be faster than the other. They also have the same aim down sights time regardless of the level of zoom, so you can't do weird things like uh, zoom in on the regular red dot and then click to swap it over to the zoom mid ADS and get extra speed. That doesn't really happen. They're only slightly slower than just running a plain Jane red dot sight and about the same as the Cronin sight. These are, in my opinion, the best kind of optics to put on an assault rifle class in Warzone. If you're a mostly rifle player and you're not going to snipe a whole lot and you want a weapon that has a lot of utility, this is going to be great for you. Hybrid gives you the ability to shoot at people at long ranges very accurately and make sure that your you know, shots are hitting, you're not shooting at specs or like little flies on a log. It can usually zoom in enough for you to pepper snipers a little bit, at least put some suppressing fire in their direction. And then if somebody gets too close to you, most of them swap very quickly over back to their red dot, or if you already have it set on that mode, and they work very effectively at that range too, again with minimal aim down sights penalty. Which one is best will ultimately come down to personal preference. I have a slight preference for the canted hybrid sights because of the way they look and the overall clarity of the image on the basic red dot sight. All of these tend to look really good on the zoom sight, but the basic red dot sight's a little bit of a struggle on all of these. I like the canted, I think the canted's really clear. After that, I have to admit that the flip hybrid works really well, even if I don't like the sort of what I would call EOTech or holographic site for the lower level of zoom. I had really good experiences with this and it's worked well for me. And at the bottom of my list, and these are all really close together, so this is, this is like 100, 95, 92, you know, it's very high ratings all, all around, is the integral hybrid. I find that the integral hybrid is a little hard to use because the red dot sight part of it is kind of small and it's got this big bulky bottom. The zoom part of it is fine, but the red dot side of it leaves much to be desired, though it does have the least disorienting transition. It's very easy to quickly just swap from high to low with this one with very little disruption in your name with your aim. And I think that's something that a lot of you could get value out of. Overall, any of the hybrid optics are top tier optics and they should be your go-to for building a robust rifle or even LMG class if you're not gonna rely on snipers. So today, in summary, red dot sights, close ranges only, SMGs, rushing AR, so you have a sniper, you probably don't need zoom. VLK has the fastest long range zoom sight in the game, a very clear image, works up close, would recommend it. The night vision goggles optics, goofy, it's very goofy, very ugly, but it does cut your recoil, which is nice. In thermal, uh, I don't really like thermal because it has too many bugs with glass and too slow aim down sights time. I'd use this only on a weapon that's already slow, like an LMG or maybe an Odin. And finally, hybrid optics are gonna be your overall best choice. If you if you just want something that's going to work, go with hybrid optics and try probably try to go canted. Canted's probably the easiest overall. I hope that you enjoyed this guide. I hope that you learned something. It was a little bit less technical than most guides, but I wanted to give you some food for thought. If you did learn something, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.